Okay, now time for the grenades. <laughs> oh, what an idiot. <laughs> Hello, Troria Enthusiasts. My name is James, and welcome back to the mod pack. So, in today's episode, I actually went ahead and built a few more houses for our NPCs. And the good thing is, it's not actually part of the big brown ugly house. I actually built something else. So, I don't know how I'm going to edit this in. I might actually just show this on the side of the screen, me just building a little house or whatever. Or, maybe I'll walk there. We'll see in the post-production. But it's not amazing. It's a, it's a pretty bog-standard house. Uh, it's a theme that I've never gone with before, so I was quite excited about that. Yeah, it... Yeah, it's, it's very basic. <laughs> People are always like, yeah, Chippy, why don't you build lovely houses? It's because I can't. <laughs> why do you think my only building tutorial is for a basic house? Because I'm a basic boy. Right, okay. So we're going to be starting off with a boss fight. There's one called... Well, it's, it's the baby scorpion. Now, I actually can't remember how this looks or anything like that. So we're going to give it a go. Before we do so, though, I am going to go up to the uh, to the merchant. I'm going to buy a few things. So, first off, I'm going to buy this thing. It's called a scooter. Now, I have seen it before. I saw it a very long time ago when I was at the Yogscast. And I actually got to show Lewis, one of the main members of the Yogscast, this scooter. And I fanboyed, and it was it was amazing. Um, <laughs> so, that's the scooter. I got my arrows. And what else do I need to buy? I need to speak to the chef. Hello, chef, because I want to buy some milkshakes. So I'll, I'll buy one protein shake, and that will increase my defense. So, yeah, this is what we're doing. It's called uh, Summons Wasteland on Use. And it says its parents won't like this. And that's it. We're off to go fight this in the desert. And then I've actually got another boss after this. So, there are a few bosses left. I'll just show you guys. So, Crabulon. Now, I can't do this yet because I actually don't know where a mushroom biome is. So, it's, it's something we'll come back to. But Wasteland is here, and then we've also got the Spirit, which I want to do today. And then we'll do the Eater of Worlds. And then after we do the Eater of Worlds, then we shall get a new thing, which is a thing from the guy that kills bosses, Josh. So I've got a few new NPCs. This one's called uh, Badapala, and he sells uh, paintings of, uh, of memes. So you get Daryl. Is that Daryl from uh, The Walking Dead? Uh, Kip Smug? Kappa. I'm not a Twitch streamer, so most of these don't come uh, natural to me. Uh, this guy will give you contracts, and then you can you can use medals from those contracts to actually give to him. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. This guy, he will summon a sandstorm, but he'll also sell you some weapons. The guide to expert throwing. Ooh. So yeah, so nothing that I particularly want right now, but kind of cool. And it's cool that I uh, I put him in this. Uh, Pyramids. I really wish they made sand furniture. Do they make sand furniture? Am I being an idiot? I put cactus there because it seemed appropriate because I've got my cactus man and uh, and my cactus boys. Alright, let's begin. Alright, let's take the protein shake and the swiftness and a nymph berry. Okay, where are we at, boy? Oh! Do you know what? I don't think I've ever seen this. If I have seen this, I do not remember it in the slightest, I'll be honest. I don't know if that's bad to say. Why can't I summon one of these guys? Oh, it's kind of out of mana. Alright, let's regen some mana. There we go. Alright. Okay. Oh, God. I'm almost dead just because I've been messing around. Oh, this is going to be really hard to, like, go past him. I don't know what I'm meant to do. Can I take him out of biome? Because I need him to kind of, like, move away so I can jump over him. I don't have rocket boots or anything like that. Right, he just despawned. Fair enough, really. I kind of deserved that. <laughs> I'll, I'll redo that in a minute, but yeah, I, I did kind of deserve that. So we'll do the next one instead. Um, oh, I'm going to have to live, though, and that's going to be a little bit tricky. Yeah, I, I do deserve that. <laughs> that, was, that was a pretty poor attempt at actually staying in the biome. Uh, I'll take some nymph berries as well. Yeah. <laughs> so the second one needs a demon altar. That's why we're off down here. Okay, let's kill this dude off. I don't want to die right at the beginning. I want to stay alive, stay fruitful. We've got a, an antlion idol. Equiptable, summons a rideable antlion charger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my uh, my scooter. Here it is. <laughs> what do you think? It's ace, right? Does it compare to this? Oh, I don't know. I think this is probably better. 
but we're going to wear the uh, scooter for the memes. Right, so I've made the, the shadow locket. So this is from the split mod. So 100% this is one that I've never seen before. And I'm quite excited for that. So let's go and uh, let's go and try it. We just got a new NPC. She is the brewer. She will sell you potions, but at this stage of the game, they're very expensive. Like a regen and like one gold, if I remember correctly. So let's see. I'll get a regen and an iron skin. Cool. And I'll press B to buff up. Yeah, I have no idea the level of uh, sophistication this boss is going to require. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be uh, not too bad. All right, once I've regen some health, I'm, I'm good to go. Probably make some torches. And I'll even make a campfire. Oh, I've already got one. <laughs> it's not my day. It really isn't. It really isn't. Right, I'm almost there. <laughs> As being a moron today. It's just one of those days. Oh! Moron again. You have to summon that at night. Wow. All right, well done, James. All right, I'm going to go make another summoning device, and we'll do that one that we just did again. Oh, my God. Okay, let's do this one again. So, baby scorpion. And try not to mess it up. All right, we're going to use the uh, the squirrel. Oh, the squirrel did not do enough. That's okay. All right, let's see if I can actually live through this one, because I kind of, like, messed it up just by, like, messing around before. The good thing about this bow is that it actually does curse flame attacks. Now, I did get a really good bow yesterday from the uh, the Grand Thunderbird. And the reason I'm not using it is because it actually has that curse debuff. A lot of you have been asking why I'm, like, losing health. Like, one tick at a time. Hundreds of you know what it is, though. Or thousands of you know what it is. But I do get the occasional comment. It's because it's cursed. It's part of, an, a part of a mod. I think I confused a lot of people on Chippy Gaming by having a Meow Mia that actually cursed you. Yeah, people were confused by that. Right. Okay. This is a pretty interesting looking boss. And like that, it's gone. <laughs> wow. Like that, it's gone. All right, I've got enough materials to do it one more time. I just, just need to stay in the right area. Maybe, maybe it's me messing up. Here we go. So this time, it's just stuck in a hole. And I think this is the death it deserves, considering it's despawned on us twice, right? So... I have no grievances about letting this thing die in a hole. So, while that dies, how have you all been? Have you been alright? I've had another day of uh, chilling in the sun. Thankfully, no, uh, no sunstroke this time, but yeah, I've been really loving the British weather recently. I'm one of these people that when the mood is good, like, when the mood is good, <laughs> I just ruined the end of my own little sentence. When the weather's good, my mood is really good. Like, when it's good weather, like, it just makes you feel so much better. Right, this thing is uh, taking a day and an age. I wish my little cacti would uh, would just jump down there and just, like, get in on it. <laughs> but no, they stay dancing. <laughs> Alright, so we're almost there. Oh my god. It's almost got as, most, as, as much health as a Calamity mod boss. Hmm, I wonder if I... See, I don't know how the balancing of the split mod works, like, because I've never done it in full. But I'm wondering now if it's, like... If it's trying to go for the mega boss kind of feel, do you know what I mean? Like bosses that are harder than vanilla. All right, we're down to the final bit of the fight. As you can see, very, very intense. All right, let's actually go down there and uh, and actually see what it looks like as it gets slain. Okay. Oh, don't die. That'd be a really dumb thing to do. Okay. And it's dead. Woo! Awesome, and now it's just a hundred scorpions. Okay, uh, all right, come on, let's kill these off. Here we go, nice. So what do we get from? We got a treasure bag. Open it up. It gives us a Chintin staff, which apparently uh, summons a scorpion. I don't think it's going to do it though, because I've got a summon on at the minute. Let's get rid of ICU. Cool, baby scorpion, and it also gives you this venom sample. Equipped to all. Melee attacks inflict venom and poison. God, that's actually really good. That's actually really cool. What else did I get? Just out of interest. I don't think I got anything else. So, it's now time to wait until nighttime. We're almost there, though, guys. We're literally so close. So, we may as well just wait. Not bad. I think I would rather have the ICU, though. The ICU is great. <laughs> because it's based on a meme and a pun. Okay, cool. Right, so I'm going to bring you guys back when it's night time. And uh, we'll do the next fight. But I think after this, I'm going to do... Yeah, I'm definitely going to do Eater of Worlds next. 
The only problem is, I actually haven't managed to get a full set of armor yet. Like, <laughs> I've been kind of slumming it up with a bit of ninja gear. So I do need to fix that soon. It's just that there are so many armor possibilities and some of them require like so much grinding to get. It's kind of worth just skipping them and getting the ones that are not so grindy. But we'll see. I mean, lots of mods, lots of possibilities. Yeah. Oh, there you go. It's night. <laughs> Doesn't, didn't even need to transition. I'm that good. Right. Let's buff up. Let's go buy a buff. So we'll buy protein shake again. Because I think that's probably the best one for us. I'm going to deposit some of this gold. Because I'm kind of... Yeah, I'm running out of gold fast. That's one thing I want to sort out. Right. I'm, I'm also going to buy some more arrows. Okay. Merchant man. Give me some arrows. Take those, please. Nice. A lot easier than actually just crafting them yourself, isn't it? Right, okay. So let's see what this is like. I haven't seen this before. I'm quite excited. Begin. Okay. Wait, I've just realized something. I don't think that last boss was from the split mod, was it? Now that I'm thinking about it. I don't actually know. I might look it up later. Oh. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that boss looks weird. It looks really cool, though, but it does look strange. God, that actually looks so interesting. Oh, it's got powerful attacks. I like this because it's got less health, but very powerful and interesting looking attacks. So I'm all right with that. You know what I mean? Like it may not have 5,000 health like the last fight, but at least it's actually, you know, standing its ground a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. This is a cool, this is a cool boss. It's got a lot of work done to the animation. Got a very distinctive style. It looks good. I'm also gonna die to it. Please don't die to it. Oh, he gave me the uh no, that's not fair. Get away. I was gonna say I got the uh the rob the robbers thing. Oh that was really fun though. I like that. I'm gonna do that again, because that was actually really good. I'm obviously gonna do it a little bit better though. Yeah, that was cool. I like that. Not a bad little fight. What was it to actually craft though? So what did I use? I used the what was I can't even remember the name of it. Uh it's called the spirit, so it's called the shadow locket. Let's have a little look. I might be able to just make another one straight away, but then again, I might not be able to. Shadow locket. You need a diamond and a chain. Okay, I can do that. Right, so what was the one we just did? Wasteland. What are you from? Oh, you're from Elements Awoken. Ah, okay. Cool, so I have played Elements Awoken. Little parts of it, I believe. Cool, right. I'm going to go make the summoning device. I'll do it real quick, and then we'll get some buffs, and we'll do it again. And this time, I'll, I'll try not to mess up as much. <laughs> All right, I'm ready for round two. I'm actually using a few different potions this time because I'm using Featherfall. So, with that out of the way, let's begin our second fight and hopefully we do it a lot better than the first one. Let's see, where's it coming from? Last time it was, I don't know actually, I can't remember. I've eaten tea since then. <laughs> yeah, I went off and, uh, and had dinner. Right, okay. All right, so it's on top of me. Yeah, I thought with the, uh, with the, basically the Featherfall, I thought I could at least get some, like, flying abilities. I'm gonna try and dodge a little bit better this time, because in the last game, I just kinda like, whoa! I just kinda let it do a lot of damage to me, when really I shouldn't have. Whee! This is actually a really cool fight, though. I love the animations. I think the animations are, like, absolutely spot on. Okay. Yeah, this one's, this one's good. I could see Calamity adding a boss that was, like, to this spec, in the sense of, like, one that's early on that also does like a variety of different attacks. Like it's got multiple attacks. It's quite cool as well because you can obviously tell which one it's going to do by its animation as well. Like he lifts up his uh, his arm there and it's fireballs. He swings his blade and you know obviously it's going to be the sword attack. And this one's going to be the one that yeah, that like, kind of speaks for itself. So cool though. I absolutely love this boss. This is Ace. Okay, this one was the tricky one, wasn't it? This is the one where I died on last time. Okay. All right, we're coming close to the end. And it teleports, like that's an added thing. All right, my dude, see you later. Oh. Hey. <laughs> what is going on? What is this? Damn transmitter, you can't break down right now. What are you, why are you doing this? Unless, wait a second. Ah, of course. This is this is cool. You must be the man that Junoshi told me about. But because of my transmitter is broke, my god, I think I'm stuck here for a long time. 
You have no idea what problems can arise if they find out about my disappearance, although it's partly my fault. Need to stop responding to all calls in a row. And if they find out that I was attacked by one of the students, oh my god. I love that something's going wrong and there's little cactus and dancer right here. Oh, it's another one. Well, here's the deal. I'm, I will try and fix my transmitter as soon as possible, but until then, try not to get any trouble, okay? And sorry for this. Complicated situation. Spirit's been defeated. That's ace. God, that makes me really want to play that mod now properly. Okay, open it up. And we got a full set of armor, but it's vanity. Ah. Let's see. What kind of... How's it look? If I didn't have weapons out on, how would it look? It's pretty cool. It's not bad. Looks better with a cactus helmet, though. Oh, it does actually look pretty pretty chill. Right, what's this? Safe bottle allows you to collect hearts in a bottle and use them later to restore health. That's... That seems pretty powerful. And a school heart. Right, let's take a little look at this. A school heart. What are you transitioning to? The sword of... Or the stone of inspiration. Can be used as a demon slash crimson altar. Oh. Cool. That's kind of interesting. I don't exactly know how it works, but that's... That's cool. I got lots of these. Yeah, plenty of these. But I don't think I'm going to do too much with them because obviously they require a lot. Yeah, it's kind of asking a lot of the players to collect 800 of something, isn't it? I don't know, is that just me? It's probably just me, right? Okay, let's put some stuff away. Now, I'm going to wait until daytime, guys. And then we're going to go do the Eater of Worlds. And I'm quite excited for this because it's one of my favorite fights because of how gory it can be. So I am actually pretty excited to actually uh, to do it in this series. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pumped. This is expert mode, but to be honest, expert mode I've got expert mode eater of worlds doesn't really scare me anymore. It used to back in the day, obviously. But after you've done it so many times, you kind of chill out with it, really. Okay, naturally I'm not that chill now. I'm uh, I'm I'm worried because it's a lot faster and a lot yeah. I thought my attacks would uh would slay it a little bit faster than it is. Oh oh, that's kind of working. The trick with this fight is to kill it fast enough to get all of its health. No, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, winging it was an awful idea. Especially winging it without potions. Oh my, what a moron. I got close though. Not really. So I just left my computer on waiting for pumpkins to grow because I wanted to try something out called a pumpkin grenade. And while I was actually waiting, a goblin army actually spawned. So I thought, that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm kind of glad because it is something I wanted to do today. You know, I wanted to get it off the, uh, off the list, off the boss checklist. But I want to go test out these uh, these pumpkin grenades. But my only problem is, is if I actually go down into my crafting area, we might just end up getting killed because there's too many things just popping around. So I'm going to have to use some grenades, and then I'm going to make some grenades. Because I thought this would be great for the next Eater World fight. Obviously, with Eater Worlds, I was kind of like mucking around with it, but I do want to actually get the kill on it. So, yeah, I want to test out something new. And I thought, well, I always like using grenades during the Eater Worlds. And I thought... Let's try something new. So pumpkin grenades. It sounds cool, right? I'm trying to think of what added benefit it'll be because it's actually got the same stats. And I'm wondering if, like, you get little pumpkin projectiles that spawn after you use them or something like that. I really am clueless to it. But I'm going to finish this event off because it's quite a long event. And then at the end of it, we'll make some grenades and we'll see. And then I've got the stuff ready for the next year of World's Fight. So I'm pretty pumped for that. And hopefully I'll get some gold so I can actually buy some potions because I'm running out of potions. Well, I'm running out of money for potions, so I need that as well. All right, so that's done. So I'm going to buy some grenades real quick. Yeah, let's get a few of them. Uh, shop and grenades. Okay. So I actually got some puff balls as well. I was wondering, oh, no, they're called spike bombs? <laughs> oh, why did I say puff balls? What do you think? Oh, there you go. They're called puff balls. I was thinking of these. I got these. These are pretty cool. Right, so let's get down to crafting. So I need some pumpkins and some grenades, and I can make pumpkin grenades. I can see there they are. Right. Oh, okay. So they do do extra uh, throwing. Okay, not bad. So they do a little bit extra. Right, let's harvest some of these pumpkins up. I don't want to have pumpkins growing forever. I only want to use a few of these. That's why. So. Oh, what's that? Is that a book? It's called a shadow ball. Okay, cool. Let's see. What, what's it do? Oh, that's kind of cool. It's kind of like a um, a water bolt. Don't bounce. Pretty nifty. Okay. And it also poisons me. Everything poisons me in this mod. Even that. All right. So I need to make a few more of them. And then we'll go into combat with them. Where are they? 
I don't see the funny thing is I, I like oh there they're there I was gonna say I can't see them when they're there but I could see them on the other anyway it don't matter right so we've got a hundred and twenty pumpkin grenades let's see if they look any different though do they have any more pot no okay so it's literally just grenades I'll use these two as well so I've got my Val powder I've got my rotten chunks I'm gonna go quickly buy some potions and we'll do the next fight and then begin <laughs> All right, hopefully it will run over them. Okay, now time for the grenades. <laughs> oh, what an idiot. <laughs> oh, that was so dumb. Why did they do that? I just threw one straight in my face. It actually bounced off one of the projectiles. Oh, God, that was so dumb. <laughs> I'm making loads of little mistakes today. It's super annoying. I need to uh, oh, rethink my life because I'm, I'm terrible today. <laughs> All right, let's give this a go. I don't want to admit how many times I've done this today just because I've been messing around like I'm not gonna lie like I've done this a good few times now <laughs> And I think it's because I refuse to do anything better and I'm just kind of I'm enjoying the memes of like using Pretty basic stuff, right? Let's get into this Please, please, please don't Blow myself up. Okay. Right, throw down some of the spike balls. Okay, I'm sure that's enough of them. Okay. Okay, and don't blow yourself up. Gotta remember that. I'm kind of... Yeah, I keep getting stuck in this fight. It's actually quite funny, actually. I keep getting uh, stuck and then kind of losing all my life and not able to use my grenades in that. Okay. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna do this tomorrow. <laughs> I think I'm done for the Eater of Worlds today. God, that was <laughs> well. That was a good laugh, to be honest. Um, yeah, a, a little bit of advice for everyone: don't use grenades. Just, just, just leave them at home. Oh my God, that was. <laughs> That was actually pitiful. Right, well, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching. I'll have a brand new episode up tomorrow. If you did enjoy, be sure to click that like button. It goes a long way, and I really appreciate it. Obviously, smashing the like button, it, it does a lot. And uh, if you're new around here, be sure to click that subscribe button. We've had an absolute bunch of new people here on the channel, and it's been great to see it grow. So, yeah, be one of those people and click subscribe. All right, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.